That's ten thousand dollars in damage. Easy. It's RT Spacer with you. Today I'll be walking you through how I make towing mirrors just for 164 scale Ram trucks. Now that mirror is made up of just two pieces, that little mast arm and then the mirror on the end. The way I see it, it's easy to simulate that, but it does take some time. So here's a look now at everything I'll be using in the process. including the pencil. Don't leave that out. Now to start off I usually mark a quarter of an inch two times on a rounded toothpick and then I cut that out. These will be the arms to support the mirror on. If I don't hold that, it's gonna go flying. Okay. One more time. Okay, so these are the arms here. Next, I'll be applying just a little bit of this onto one end of these arms I've created. Go ahead and stick that onto the truck, making sure to be right in that spot where a mirror is supposed to be. If I want this to stick, I'll have to hold it for a few seconds, at least. Now I have to repeat that on the other side. I'm being sure to stick it on at a bit of an angle. I need to push these upward just a bit. This is not picture perfect. It's not meant to be. I'm just walking you through how I do this in general. While I'm waiting on that to set, I might as well get going on creating the mirrors I'll be attaching to that. Now to do this, I take a pretty durable card that's not too flimsy, like a Hot Wheels card is. I'll basically draw the general shape of a Dodge Ram towing mirror. This might be the hardest part of the whole process because it's easy to make this too big or too small. Now to help me out, I do have a set of finished towing mirrors already that I can use as a guide. Okay, now from here, you just cut that out. At this point, you want to decide if you want the towing mirror up and out in the towing position 
or turned over in the normal driving position. Um, I always put mine up and out in the towing position because, well, I'm always hauling trailers with them, so you just need a little bit of glue on the end there to stick on to the arm I created. Stick that onto the arm you created. Be sure to adjust that before the glue sets. Hold up a minute. Alrighty. Now again, I'm trimming that once the glue is set. I'm not leaving it like that because that doesn't look right. So it's at this point that I wait for the glue to set and then from there I... Well, usually I black the whole thing out but really, you can paint that any color you want. Red, yellow, silver. I usually just go with black all around. And then of course the mirrors will be silver. You don't have to imagine it. I've already made that happen here. So when I'm done, those mirrors I just created will look like this. And I'll be sure to post pictures of that on Instagram at RTSpacerHD. As far as how long to wait, well, I would give this a few hours to set. But me personally, I like to wait until tomorrow morning, the next day. I think what I'll do is split this video up into two parts part one and a part two. So once this glue is set, I'll be back to finish the job, all right? It's RT Spacer with you. Let's roll.